Hi everybody, in today's video I am super excited to be doing a review of a gel polish set for Laguna Moon. I was sent this set from Laguna Moon as part of a PR package in exchange for a review video for you all. Um, this is the second time I've reviewed for Laguna Moon um, a gel polish set. I really love the packaging on these. It comes in these really fun um, little boxes. You get six polishes um, included in the set and it's usually like some sort of theme. So this one is for June and it says Alexandrite and Pearl. All of the colors really fit into that description really well. These are the colors of polishes that came in this polish set. Look at how beautiful those are you guys I am in love with the shades in this set I just wanted to share a little bit with you guys about the other stuff I use since it is a gel review and I don't usually do gel reviews I have a Clavis base and top coat set this was actually sent to me last time when I did my first Laguna Moon review to use um, for that review and I really did like this set quite a bit I like the size of the bottles because I feel like they are um a little bit bigger than what you normally get. Um, these are actually 15 milliliter bottles. Um, they're easily labeled base coat, top coat. These are true gel polishes. They do need to be cured under a lamp. Um, the lamp I'm using is from Sally Hansen in my video. Um, <clears throat> this does plug into the wall. And then basically once you're plugged in, you press the light here at the top. You stick your nail in, press the light. And this one is actually nice because the light turns off after the time has passed that you need for curing. Um, I don't think all lamps do that, but this lamp does. And I think time for curing is about 60 seconds. On the Laguna Moon website, which I will link down below, they do have lamps for purchase. They have base coats, they have top coats. Um, and all of the stuff you would need to do your own at-home gel manicure is on the site. Um, what I really do enjoy about Laguna Moon polishes is I think that the prices are very, very reasonable for the sets and um, they do run a ton of sales. So if you've shopped gel polish before, you know some gel polishes can be extremely pricey um, and that is not an issue with these. I also like that you can get these value packs. Um, and they have several different types on their website. They have like classic colors where you get like a red, a black, a white, more of a classic feel. Um, they have stuff that is magnetic. You get like a tiger eye finish. They have UV polishes, color change polishes. Um, they have all sorts of different things on there for any type of like nail trend you're looking to get to. Last set I reviewed is called the Bridesmaids Collection. Um, and that was this set here. I really enjoyed the colors in this collection. I will link this review down below for you guys because in this review, I actually swatch on real nails. Um, as you can tell in the video I'm gonna show you now, I will be live swatching, but it'll be on a nail wheel because I have a lot of other polishes to swatch for PR right now. I'm very behind and I don't have time to do a gel removal. Um, so I do apologize for that, but I will link this review down below because you get the complete idea of what needs to happen to apply these polishes on an actual nail and how to remove. This set also had six polishes, more in classic shades, um, more leaning towards like if you were in a wedding and I really enjoyed this collection a lot as well. So um, another thing I really enjoy about this is they give you on this side a full set of instructions on how to apply, if you're having issues, what should you look for, um, just some general questions, how long does the polish last? Um, there's a few questions and instructions here on this little pamphlet on the side, which I really did appreciate, especially if you're not used to using gel polish. So um, let's get into the live application of this beautiful, beautiful set from Laguna Moon Polish. So here you can get a little bit better look at the packaging. This is a Soak Off UV LED gel polish set. At the bottom you can see the Alexandra and Pearl. Um, those are the six colors that come in the package. Here's a better look. Um, these are eight milliliter bottles. There's two seashell finishes and then four of the Ultra Wear Pro Gel polishes. Here's the instructions I was telling you guys about earlier. Um, it just has how to prep your nails, how to take the polish off, if you have any kind of questions. Here's another look at my Sally Hansen light. Um, I don't know if these are still available since I don't know if Sally Hansen still does gel polish. Here's another look at my top and base coat that I used for this, but you can buy those on their site. So on this first nail, I'm gonna show you everything I do to do the curing. Um, I put a coat of base coat on, and then this has to get cured. So 
this is where I was telling you my light shuts off after um, the curing time has passed. I do think it is around 60 seconds. I did speed this video up a tiny bit just for it to move along a little bit faster. But um, this helps cure the layers of the polish for you. So that's finished curing. Then you go in for one coat of polish. This is SG013. And this goes on really smooth, you guys. I think the formula on this one was really smooth, very nice. It is a sheer polish, but that is the look it's supposed to have. So um, I don't think you would reach complete full opacity on this. Um, so after the first coat, I cure the first coat in the lamp again. And again, probably another 60 seconds. If you were going to wear this over um, peel off base coat, you just put the peel off base coat first and then do the curing on top of that. So I'm going in for the second coat of this polish. Um, again, very smooth, very nice. It does build up and you can see the beautiful like bluish glow that this polish has. I really did enjoy this even though it's not my typical style. I did think it was really nice. Then you cure the second coat of the polish in the UV lamp. Um, so like I was saying, if you are going to wear this over peel off base coat, you put your peel off base coat on first, then you just do all these steps um, the same way after that. And then you should be able to peel it off anytime you want. I'm going to go in with one coat of top coat. I do a really thick coat of top coat with this gel polishes, um, and I really like the look of that. Then after the top coat, you just cure again. Um, the curing of the polish is what gives it like the super long wear time like I told you guys before you could probably wear these polishes for about two weeks without having to do any kind of like touch up to them at all they should last about that long um which is very good wear time if you're not like a constant polish changer and then look how pretty this looks on the nail it really does have that beautiful like mermaidy seashell effect um this is really popular in all of the um salon manicure sites I follow. Next is SG014. This is also a seashell finish and um, first coat of this is really sheer as well. So I end up doing three coats of this polish just for opacity sake but um, it's really sheer. It goes on really nicely and I'm not going to show you all the steps on this one. So this is the second coat of that same polish. Really nice and smooth. I am curing between coats like I showed you guys before. I just cut that out for time purposes. And then this is three coats of the polish. And look at how pretty that one is as well. It has a very beautiful like mermaidy, um, like iridescent-y type effect. Super pretty on the nails, you guys. Third one is SG015. Um, this is a very gorgeous purple shade. It does want to be sheer on that first coat, but it builds up really nicely as the coats go on. I really did enjoy this polish quite a bit. I think a full manicure, this would be so pretty. Here's the second coat. You can see it building up. This also has a really beautiful bluish shimmer to it, which I really did enjoy. And... I'm kind of over manipulating here, but that's what I do. This is the third coat of the polish. Um, it builds up really nicely, and here it is after it's all top coated and cured. Look how pretty that is. Kind of reminds me of Tonic Light of Lyra, and you could get some really long wear time out of it. So really, really pretty. Next polish I'm going to show you is CL269. This was probably my favorite out of the collection. You'll see why. Look at all this gorgeous glitter, you guys. So pretty. I will say that these glitter finish gel polishes did sort of freak me out because they do want to be kind of gritty. Here's the second coat. You can see it's building opacity nicely. Once you top coat and cure, though, all of that grittiness goes away and you end up with a really glossy, juicy finish on the nails, which I loved. I think this color is to die for, you guys. Next up is CL277. Um, this also had that same sort of chunky glitter effect and it kind of freaked me out because I was like, how is this going to look? You can see there just how it's kind of bizarre. 
Um, the formula on this one was a little bit thicker, um, but I did like it. It is a little sheer on that first coat. Second coat builds up beautifully, you guys. It still has that weird sort of like chunky look. And I was scared, I'm not going to lie. But once you put on the top coat and cure, it's beautiful. Look at how this looks on the nail. I think it looks like a starry night. Um, and I think the glitter looks like sort of like it's underwater. I don't know. It's really beautiful. It has a great thick juiciness. This is CL294, I believe. And um, this is a green glitter polish. has the same chunkiness as the other glitters. Um, this is the second coat. It does build opacity nicely. When you're putting it on, you're kind of thinking, how's this going to look? Because I don't think it gives you the best look without the top coat and being cured. So it is a little bit like, what is this? Um, but once you top coat again, it just really looks amazing. Look at how beautiful that looks on the nails. Very thick, very juicy. Um, that glitter just lays under there really beautifully. Those last three polishes I thought were super, super beautiful, you guys. If you love glitter, I think you need to try those. Um, so here's just a close-up of all of these polishes again so you can see like the shimmeriness and the effects of them. I really like the um, like Aurora-ish effects of the first three and then the glitter of the last three. So, so pretty. Um, I'm actually excited to try some of these with some really um, So I do just kind of want to talk about what went with what one more time. Um, this is what they consider a seashell finish. And the seashell finish polishes are these three sort of like iridescent... Um, type polishes that have a little bit of like a multi-chrome shift to them and I do agree they do have a seashell type finish this is sort of what a seashell looks like on the inside to me so um the first one I have here is SG013 um and I feel like this is so beautiful you guys um I feel like this is a trend you're seeing in a lot of gel polish manicures like from the salon um and I really think it's super, super beautiful. And I think if you're into the like powders and stuff to put over the gel polish, like the holographic powders or um, the other types of powders, this is a nice base for something like that as well. This is another seashell finish. This is number SG014. Um, and this has more of like a blue sheen to it. It's really, really pretty. Um, the one thing about these polishes is they have that little bit of like a sheerness, but I know there's several manicures that I've seen um, on the Instagram accounts I follow from salons where that's the look, that's what the people are going for. I actually ended up choosing this set because my sister um, has been talking about wanting to get her nails done. And this is the type of finish that she's drawn to in some of the gel polishes. So I thought it would be really fun because I already have the um, other colors in the other set. So those are the two seashell finishes. This polish is called a Ultra Wear Pro Gel. And this is SG015. And this is just a really gorgeous purple. It has a beautiful like sheen and shimmer to it. To me, it does sort of remind me of the seashell effect, but it's much more opaque. This next polish I was really in love with, you guys. This is CL269. Another thing I like on these is they kind of give you an idea of the type of finish that's in the bottle on the um, label. So you can see here this shows that it is like a glitter type polish um, so that you know, which I like because, you know, the bottles can't be clear. They're opaque so that the light doesn't activate them when you're not ready for it to be activated. But um, look at this polish, you guys. Oh, my gosh. I am going to have to put this on as a full manicure because, oh, it's so beautiful, so sparkly. I think it's perfect for the holidays. Um, I think it's so pretty. I would like to pair like these two together to get some really beautiful nail art looks and then maybe stick some rhinestones or something on this nail. I think it would be so pretty. Next one is CL277. This is also a glitter polish you can see from the label. And, um... This is a gorgeous, like, very deep navy blue, and it has some really beautiful glitter in it. And I like the effect you get with this, like, um, like a very nice thickness. I don't know. I really, really like the way this looks on this um, nail gill, and it's super, super pretty. <clears throat> and last up is CL294. Um, so this also has that, like, glitter look on the label so that you're aware. And I really enjoy this one as well. I feel like these three are just so pretty right up my alley. These are something newer to me, but I am excited to give them a try on the nail. When I actually get around to using these on the nails, I will post on Instagram so that you guys can see. 
So I know a lot of us are not super into gel polish because we switch out so often. Um, I did want to mention you can wear gel polishes over peel off base coat if you see something you like and you want to try the color. That's a nice way to wear it and then not have to do the full acetone soak off that these require. Um, that does take a little bit extra time. But when you are going to take these off, and this shows in the review video, I'll link down below, you just kind of um, roughen up the surface of the polish. Um, and then you can use the Bliss Kiss Clips, or you can do like a foil method where you put the acetone on the cotton ball and wrap your fingers in foil. You have to sit around for a while, um, and then it should just kind of come right off. You may have to scrape a little bit of it off. Be careful with the scraping so that you don't damage your nail plate. But removal is not, you know, super, super difficult. These polishes are made to last um, a lot longer than regular polish. You can probably get like up to two weeks wear out of this type of a gel system. Um, Laguna Moon Beauty has been kind enough to send me an affiliate link code for all of you to use if you do plan to purchase from them. The code is JAO17. I will put all this information down below. Um, it is an affiliate link, so I do make a small percentage off of the sales if people do use my code. And with the code, you get 17% off your Laguna Moon purchase. That code does give you some really great savings. Um, I'm on the Laguna Moon website on my phone right now. I will link it down below. But basically, um, right now, these value sets like the one I showed you with the six polishes are on sale for $14.99. So if you use my code, you would get 17% off that $14.99. Um, I'm bad at math, I'm not sure what that would be. 20% um, of that would be like $3. So you get less than $3 off. So you're looking to maybe pay like 12 something for a set of six gel polishes, which is a really good deal. Um, they have a lot of different types of polishes, a lot of different finishes. Um, look how fun these kind of things look. They also do have um, base coats and top coats. In case you've never done gel polish, you can get a base coat and top coat set for $8.99 on the website. Um, and that's a good value there as well. And then let me look up the lamps just to kind of give you an idea of the prices they have for that. So I have a 24 watt and a 48 watt nail lamp. Um, 48 watt nail lamp, you're looking at $49. Um, but it does look very nice. So there's the lamp there. And then if you're looking to see, um, they have like an influencers link on their website. It's called Influencers Choices. Um, and you can click down here. You will see me here on the top, Polish Talks Choices. Um, you can ch click on Polish, Polish Talks Choices and that will link you directly to this set in case you really did enjoy these colors. You can see exactly which set I picked. Um, and then this set is called The Bridesmaids. I will put that down below as well so that you can see um, the colors in this set and I will link the video so you can see the swatches of all of these polishes because they were really, really beautiful. Once again, the link I am going to share will be on my Instagram page on the about information and I will also post a link there. You need to click on that link to go through and shop the polishes. Um, I'm not sure why, but that's the way it works. That's the way they told me it works. So if you guys are looking to get into gel polish, um, please check out Laguna Moon Beauty, see what you think. If you're looking for Christmas gifts for people that you know do their own gel nails, I think these are really fun sets um, and they get a variety of colors and something to try. And I think the prices are really, really good. Um, so if you do plan to order from Laguna Moon Beauty, um, Feel free to use my link if you want to. If you don't want to, I totally understand. Um, that is it for this video. If you liked it, please make sure to click the like button down below. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do. And thank you all for watching. I will see you in the next video. Bye.